wait a minute. That's not Zach. That's... Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core Reunion right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you all so much for clicking on yet another video. Listen, I still need your help. Likes, comments, shares, all that stuff. Let's make this my most successful series to date. I'm gonna need your help for that. So in the last episode, we were able to be introduced to Zack Fair. We were able to find out that he is actually only a soldier second class at the moment, and he does not have the Buster Sword, the thing that he's famous for. Apparently this guy, Angeal, has it, soldier first class. We also met Director Lazard, who's sitting over here looking, looking pretty cool. I like his outfit. Uh, and he told us that we need to go to Wutai because apparently there was a soldier first class known as Genesis who has defected from soldier and uh, took a bunch of second and third class soldiers with him. We're going to go find out why in today's episode. Remember, likes, comments, all that jazz. Let's go ahead. Let's get into the game, shall we? And to do that, we can just talk to Angeal. It's time to head to Wutai. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. I'll be joining you as well. I'm counting on you. Sir. By the way, what is your dream? To become first? Is it? No. To become a hero. Ah, oh, good. Unattainable dreams are the best kind. Uh, thanks? Damn, Lazard, that was cold as hell. Fort Tamplin is straight ahead. Let's go. The unit is already standing by. You two there! Hold it! Okay then. Leave this to me. Now, you may remember Wu Tai from Final Fantasy VII. That is where Yuffie is from. We actually head to a little area of Wu Tai, and we've heard plenty oh, yeah. about Shinra's war okay, with Wu Tai. Calm down, Zack. No can do. I mean, the director is watching, right? So I have to make a good impression. Zack. Heard of dumb apples? No, what's that? Incredible. You really don't know. Well, so much for you making first. <laughs> Whoa, wait! What's this dumb apple? I, I, I know I mentioned it in the last episode, but Zach is such a himbo and I just, it's great. What exactly is a dumb apple, you might ask? I'm sure we'll find out soon. After this battle, of course. Bring it on. And it's going to give us a little tutorial about how to flee, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. Basically, the only way that you do that is by running out of the arena. Right there, we were also able to fight our first Wu Tai sergeant. Most of these have been privates, but we got to fight our first sergeant there. A little bit tankier, but a fire spell is going to do a lot of damage to them. Now, there's also something that I want to mention now that we're actually in a map that we get to explore, is you can avoid a lot of random encounters by hugging the walls of the arena. Of course, I don't really recommend doing that. But for certain missions that we're going to be undertaking later, it is super, super important. Just skip those random fights. So, Angeal, what's the deal with dumb apples? The official name is Benora White. The trees bear fruit at random times during the year. Because of that, the townspeople affectionately call them dumb apples. The local farms had plenty of them to spare. Oh, really? So you stole them? We were poor, Zack. Nice excuse. But even then, I had my honor. The largest Benora white tree grew on a wealthy man's estate. It was rumored that those apples tasted the best. But I never stole from that tree because the wealthy man's son was my friend. If he was a friend, you should have just asked for some. 
honor can be quite a burden at times. And what exactly does this have to do with me? No story is not worth hearing. <laughs> what? That's it? <laughs> yeah, well, thanks a lot. I swear, this game has some of the best one-liners of any Final Fantasy game I've ever played, and Angeal is just so darn cool. And let's continue on. Now, you'll also notice I do still have the Curse Ring equipped, and it's only because it maxes out our, or gives us 10 additional stats to everything at the moment. So it's just kind of nice to have. We also got mail this time from Lazard himself. Soldier responsibility. Soldier members, I thank you for your daily hard work. As you all well know, a great number of our comrades have left the company. There is now some concern within the company whether this will lead to a decline in soldiers' combat abilities. However, we can also take this pressure as a chance to prove how indispensable we are to the company by proving our strength as a small but elite group. I hope you take advantage of this mission, where we will be bringing an end to the war with Wutai. To do your best, improve yourselves. And that will move to Lazard's own a uh, little category there for mail. Anyways, we have a save point here. We don't really need to use it right now, but at least get your health back. B unit will set off an explosion. That's our cue. The diversion will allow us to infiltrate. Right. I'll set the bomb inside the fortress. You'll charge the front gate and- Uh-huh. And? And, and, and? Indulge yourself. You got it. That's what I do best. Uh, come on, B unit. <sighs> you know, I've never actually seen you use that. Don't you think it's sort of a waste? Use brings about wear, tear, and rust. And that's a real waste. You're serious, aren't you? Yeah. I can be pretty cheap. Yeah, no kidding. Begin mission. <laughs> Zack is so badass and so extra, and I just love it. Heightened emotions have affected the DMW. As you progress through the story, Zack's emotions towards characters he meets are sometimes heightened, and this in turn affects the DMW. When Zack's emotions are heightened, the relevant character's image reels have a greater chance of entering Limit Verge. We hold the line here. It's just one man. Prepare to swarm him. And let's go ahead and begin our mission here against a ton of enemies. Now, we're going to, we actually changed our target, uh, the way that we switch targets here, so that we can just use the direction pad. But we'll go ahead and use Assault Twister, which is going to take down a bunch of them. Watch out for that sergeant so he doesn't hit us. And again, don't forget about those crits that you can get when you are attacking from behind your target. But we're not going to worry about that. We are going to be facing no less than 28 Wutai Privates. And we can take them down, no problem. Now, we can also go ahead and hit the ones that are up here as well. If we go ahead, we can use... Well, that was the wrong target, but that's okay. Look at all these privates. You know, I kind of feel bad for Wutai. Uh, no wonder why they... May maybe lose this war, you know what I mean? So much for Materia. Woo! Watch out for, oh, he shot us anyways. And now we can go ahead. Oh, we're not close enough. Target these guys, get some fires to throw out on them. And just like that, they're defeated. Yeah, piece of cake. My friends, that was no less than 28 Wutai Privates and two Wutai Sergeants. Intruder! 
It's Soldier! Damn! Stop him! Activating combat mode. And another fight! Now you can see how much damage the sergeant is actually able to do with us. 75 damage. That is... That is a lot. But we have some potions that we can use. And we're not going to worry about using cure or anything like that. We're going to need the MP for another enemy that will be presenting itself real soon. Are you in? Piece of cake. Could have done it blindfolded. Stay alert. I've heard the Wu Tai keep a monster around for anti soldier purposes. It should be somewhere in the fort. So, if I can take it out, will I make first? Depends on the quality of work. Your main task is diversion. Run amok and gather attention. Do well, and you'll gain favor with Director Lazard. That'll be a cakewalk. Just watch. And we start this mini mission here, the assault on Fort Tamblin. We actually don't need to defeat every single soldier that's present here, but I recommend doing that. And it teaches us that we can dash, which actually we've already used a couple of times. So we'll notice that there is a chest up ahead that we can grab. Our first battle chest, but it looks like we're going to have to deal with some enemies first. That's going to teach us some weaknesses here, and in fact, these enemies are weak to Blizzard. So we'll cast Blizzard, or we'll miss. Oh no, and we're out of MP! So Blizzard is kind of a harder spell to use, just because you, you channel the ice and then it will fall on them. Sometimes, that's a little hard to do. Anyways, we can grab this chest for a free Soma, and we'll notice that there's this tower here. We can't actually interact or do anything with it, but I think we'll be coming back to this because I think it might have a way for us to interact. You'll also notice this wall here looks oddly suspicious. Maybe we'll be coming back to that as well. There he is! Get him! These new enemies, these dog-like enemies, are called Foul Landers. They are very, very weak to Blizzard damage. But we're not going to worry about that too much at the moment. At least oh, until yeah. we use an Aether. Look at how quickly we can defeat them. Just with normal attacks. You know? Dodge their fire. And look at that. 48 gil, 24 SP for each one. Oh, no. How dare they? And they ran away. Well, now they're not shooting at us. Let's see about the other side of this wall. Huh. Interesting. Knew that was going to happen. Woo! Oh, look at how much damage they were able to do so quickly there. We're going to go ahead and use an Aether here just so that we can get some of our MP back. Conflict Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we can actually interact with this wall. Face us, soldier, if you dare. Huh? Where did he go? Sneaky little pest. <laughs> Treachery! Hello, friends. Did you miss me? Easy peasy. Oh, that was yeah. a completely optional fight, by the way. This is Lazard. Enemies appear to be lurking in every corner. This fortress will not fall easily. Yeah, just now, I was checking out a revolving wall and was jumped. Other walls may be trapped too. Stay alert. Remnant forces seen near the revolving wars. It's up, revolving wars? Revolving walls. I was gonna say, it's up to S to end this war. We can grab another chest here, which, uh, hello? There we go, uh, which is going to contain a potion. Oh, that's so odd. They have another chest right here for us. There's nothing inside. What do you- Oh, no! Activating combat mode. Bring it on. And we're going to attack and then use our Assault Twister, which you can see was successful because of the orange damage numbers that appear there. That means that we were able to get more damage by using it after using our normal attack. So we were able to take those down. Now, if we come back over here, we can't use this wall. And don't forget, there's also that tower that we ran by on the way over. 
that's going to be important in just a little bit. Looks like we have another wall here that we can't interact with, and one right in front of us that we also can't interact with. Activating combat mode. And we'll go ahead and finish off these foul landers. I don't see a real reason to use Blizzard on them. They fall so quickly. Obviously, still can't use that wall, so let's continue this way where we'll see this tower. There he is! Get him! And finishing off some of those enemies, getting them low, dodging. Look at that. Woo! You'll love to see it. Oh, yeah. You see how good that combat is? Do you see? And finally, we can interact with this tower. Let's see what happens when we interact with this one. We found him. He's right there under the tower. I see him. 38th Tamblin unit. Charge! Now, this is actually a pretty beefy fight. Two sergeants and two Foullanders? That can be spicy. I have no doubt we'll be okay. Look at that, baby. 52 SP gains. New intel. Enemy troops are stationed inside the two fortress towers. I see. You don't want them tracking your position. Take out the other tower. So we took out that one tower, which means that the other one is back at the very beginning that we were at before. So let's grab this chest that's hidden behind there, where we can get a high potion. And then we can grab this right after we defeat these as well. Woo! Oh, it just feels so good to play, my friends. And right here, we can grab an ether. And of course, use the wall. Use the wall. Use the wall. You can see how much damage that assault twister does when you use it correctly. It just feels so, so good. So we were able to defeat the squad that was waiting for us behind that wall. And we're gonna backtrack just a bit. Can't use it again. So that we can grab that other tower. I wish that you could use those tower, those walls just as a shortcut. I could have sworn that you could, but I guess I was mistaken. Anyways, we have the second tower here. Let's go ahead and interact with that. To think one man did this much damage to us, I can no longer just sit back and watch. Halt! You'll pay for what you did. Your life will come to an end here. He's no match for three Wu-Tai sergeants. Let's take him out. You know, we'll show you the power of Wu Tai. I don't. I have a feeling you won't do that. And again, you do want to watch out because these are capable of teaming up and doing a tremendous amount of damage to you. Like right now, we're at 70 health. We'll go ahead and pop one of those. That just that double attack there was able to do that much damage. Oh, yeah. But we took them out like they were nothing. Because they were nothing. And there's nothing back here, but you can see the other tower that we did take out when when they're on the two sides of the entrance, I suppose. But we'll go ahead and run back. And you'll see the fortress remaining forces. It looks like we only have three more groups to take down while we're here. And that is definitely something we're going to want to do. Trust me, friends. It is absolutely worth doing. We make our stand here! Ready, aim, fire! Give it up! More troops are en route! It's over! Oh, whatever are we going to do? You know what? I think we'll find a different route. And to do that, we'll come over here and surprise. Huh? I hear a voice. For the glory of the time, we hold the line here at all times. Sir. Fort Tamblin will not fall to a lowly group of thugs like soldier. 
The enemy could be lurking anywhere. Keep your eyes open. Soldier is a formidable foe. Still, to protect our homeland, we must stand against our enemies, no matter what. Even if it means our lives. In Wu Tai, retreat is never an option. What? Retreat! Against bad odds, retreat is the best strategy. <laughs> and we'll get a potion for defeating them. We don't get the SP or the uh, the guild from fighting them, but like you get that great scene. Foulenders to take out, which we can do no problemo. Watch out for their fire. Luckily, we can destroy that before it even is a concern. This one's going to try to cast. Oh, no, trying to attack us. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Good work, Zach. Enemy forces within the fort have been halved. You can proceed to the central area. And we're going to take out all enemies here first Understood. before we move in. Eliminate any remaining enemies you find. Trust. It's necessary. We can grab this chest here, which is going to contain an ether for us. Now, if you don't grab that chest there, you actually just don't get it. Now, we're looking for one more group of enemies, and I think I know where we can find them. If we head back to that wall that we used... Take out another three Thowlanders. Dodge that fire and attack the third one. And that, my friends, is all of the fortress remaining forces defeated. Which means we can now head back to here and open our way into the courtyard. Nicely done. We have successfully occupied the fort. I just needed you to keep their attention, but... <laughs> Impressive. You did well. Keep pressing forward. Assault on Fort Tamblin complete. Not something that you actually have to do, but something that is definitely worth doing. That must be the central area. Look at this area. How cool is that? Wutai is so cool. Activating combat mode. And here we can actually get into random encounters, which is what this, in fact, is. Dodge that, Sergeant. And we can defeat a few of those pretty quickly. Now, like I said, if you hug the sides, you won't actually get into random encounters. Something to keep in mind as you proceed through the game. There is another chest that we can grab over here. Which is going to contain earrings, which is a new accessory that we could equip at the moment. And to do those, it gives us a magic plus five, which is actually lower. It would lower all of our stats because we're using the cursed ring. But you don't need to use the cursed ring, so keep that in mind. We also have Shinra News Mail, Situation with Wutai. We have received reports from the security and soldier departments on the state of war with Wutai. We have been in negotiations with Wutai for years in order to peacefully resolve the long dispute regarding Mako extraction in the region. However, Wutai's steadfast refusal has resulted in aggravated tensions. In order to break through this impasse, we have decided to resume military action. A special attack force of the smallest size has been mobilized to keep the scale of operations to a minimum. Now, it's too bad. Uh, you're actually kind of the villain here, if you think about it. Go ahead and use this real quick, just so that we can get our health back. Go ahead and throw down another save. And we have something here that we can interact with. That, my friends, looks like a leviathan. With a materia in its mouth. I wonder what that could mean. I think before we use that, we should maybe grab this chest that we see hanging out right here. Which is going to contain... A high potion. So high potion and earrings and a random encounter. 
Now, we are going to be in for a little bit of a, a challenging fight coming up. So if you're feeling a little too weak or maybe not used to the combat system yet, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't think it's the worst thing to go ahead and maybe get some, some battles in against these random encounters that we can find. We can also grab that chest there for a Soma. And finally, let's go ahead and interact with this Leviathan statue. What's this? That is Wutai's guardian deity, the Great Leviathan. We are the Wutai Army's elite, the Crescent. We serve Leviathan and smite Wutai's enemies. Soldier of Shinra, a query. Is the goal of this invasion to spread your Mako reactors? Yes. A reactor here would allow people to live better lives. And that includes you. This better life that you speak of comes at the grave cost of losing our homeland. Pain and despair. That's what you bring. <sighs> One more question. You have power, so I must ask, why do you use it to cause evil? Is it wrong to spread happiness through Mako energy? Is that what you consider evil? I thought we could reason with each other as warriors, but sadly, I was mistaken. Then let us settle things as warriors. Come forth! Doesn't it feel bad to know that you're playing the villain right now? Like, she's Louise, man. Anyways, we want to watch out for these Crescent Lux. They can do a tremendous amount of damage at 100 a pop. And so we'll try to avoid, use a potion when we can, and maybe see if we can throw out some fires there. We'll see that that will do 116. Watch out for their shots as well. And we'll just see if we can kind of keep this moving. Once you take down one, it's not so bad to get the others down. One down, 55 gil. We're keeping that dodge roll handy. Watch out for him to go, hit him with a fire, and that will be the Crescent Unit Lux defeated. Why won't you finish me? Eh. Not in the mood. As long as we draw breath, we will oppose Shinra. Now, finish it. Oh, come on. <laughs> He's like, nah, I'm good. So we could save and heal up after that fight. Man, looks like we only have one direction to go. Look at those statues. They look, oh, they look so good. Avoid training when you can. Two, protect Wu Tai at all costs. Guess who it is, my friend? Ugly Shinra soldier dudes must be punished. Who are you? I'm Wu Tai's greatest warrior. It's over for you because now you have to face me. A little kid? This area is not safe for you. Go on home now. You're the uh. one going home. If you want to go any further, you're going to have to go through me. Oh, man. What am I supposed to do here? Shoo, shoo, ha! Take that, bad guy! <sighs> shoo, shoo, ha! Ah, no! You got me! Ha <laughs> ha! That'll teach you to mess with me. Once again, I saved Wu Tai. Boy, oh boy. That's a lot of energy. Now, back to work. What a fantastic scene. Oh man. So glad we get to see that. Little Yuffie. And Zack. Like, yes, we're, we're, we're the villain, right? Like, Shinra is invading somebody's homeland to put a Mako reactor so that they can benefit from it. But, like, Zack's not the bad guy, you know what I mean? I think it's great.
You must be the anti-soldier monsters. And here we go. It is time to deal with enemy abilities? Some enemies use special abilities in battle. When these abilities are activated, the enemy will enter a casting phase and an ability gauge will be displayed. You can lower the gauge by attacking the enemy, which in turn decreases the ability's impact. Furthermore, if you can reduce the gauge to zero, you can cancel the ability entirely. There is a very fancy trick for this that we will be using. So, for instance, we use Ability Twister. It will completely get rid of that ability. Now, if you aren't able to actually get that ability to be depleted, they're going to hit you with their own limit break. While both of them are up, that's going to be called Twin Tomahawk. Let's see if I can show you that. On purpose, of course. Just because it's such a cool animation. And when there's only one left, let's see if we can get that one. Mace Boomerang. And we'll go ahead and try to dodge any of the attacks that we can here. Woo! And, of course, try to get behind our targets. So that we can do some crits. And you'll see how much those backhands are hitting us for 120 damage. But that's actually not that big of a deal, especially when we can Assault Twister. Look at how much damage I got. Easy peasy, Lemon Squeezy. We'll go ahead and hit this. And then an Assault Twister will completely negate the attack. And if you dodge at just the right time that they go to swing, you'll get some invincibility frames. Of course, it's a little bit harder to do when you're dealing with two enemies that have different, same attack patterns, but attacking at different times. Woohoohoo! And again, we're still not using the DMW here. And we defeated one of them, which means we get an HP up materia. And when there's only one, we can do some pretty crazy things here. You got nothing on me. A Varada or a Tai. Oh, see ya. And a Blizzard Blade Materia. Look at that. Soldier Second Class Zack. Victorious again. Good work. Now, get out of there. You've only got five minutes. Got it. Director Lazard, are you watching? <laughs> Gotta move. Uh, no time to play. That's one more you owe me. <laughs> you lost your focus. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry if your sword got any wear, tear, or rust on it. You're a little more important than my sword. But just a little.
Thanks. I love Angeal so much. I'm here. I must apologize. Being on site is taxing. You didn't have to come personally. This operation will bring an end to the war. I wanted to see it through. Soldier Second Class Zack. Sir! You put forth a good effort at Fort Tamblin. I saw it with my own eyes. To be frank, my evaluation is... You are a force of nature. You somehow defeated an entire enemy force by yourself. I was shocked as well. You've grown strong. Your bravery during the Wu-Tai War will be remembered for generations. It seems your dream of becoming a hero has already come true. Director Lazard, that's a bit much. Zack here still has a lot to accomplish. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Zack, keep up the good work. Well, of course it wouldn't be a PlayStation 5 video or stream without the controller getting low. And we'll get a fire armlet for completing all 16 of those stars in the Fort Tamblin little side quest that we can do. Now, there are other items that you can get if you don't do all 16, but I just highly recommend having this fire armlet, especially for the next boss fight. And we get the trophy, Zach, Hero of the Wu-Tai War. Sephiroth is waiting. Sephiroth? The hero? Wow! I'm gonna meet a hero! <laughs> and we're going to be randomly attacked by these three enemies that we've never seen before. Heightened emotions have affected the DMW, Sephiroth. Interesting. We're not gonna worry about that, obviously, because we still have the curse ring, which, trust me, at these early stages, the curse ring is just too good to pass up. So we're gonna try to watch out for these random enemies. Wu-Tai? Wu-Tai assassins? Who knows? Anyways, you'll see that we are deleting them pretty darn quickly. Gonna go ahead and hit this one with a fire and one more slash to wrap it up. Oh yeah! Zack, come on. Zack, take the director to safety. Contact Sephiroth. Zack can handle it. Now go. Follow me, director. Seems like a dangerous thing for the director of all of Soldier to come to an active war zone. Director Lazard. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. Zack, I should be fine now. Assist Angeal. Yeah, I'm on it. All right, looks like we're about to go help Angeal. We have a save point right in front of us, and my friends, our first chance to kind of customize Zack a bit here before going into what is the hardest fight so far in the game. So we're gonna go into our equipment here, change out our fire magic. Trust me, we're not going to need it. We're going to instead put, let's put HP up there, get rid of our cure, and we're instead we're going to use Blizzard Blade. We're gonna leave Blizzard, not to put anything else there. We'll get rid of the cure for Blizzard Blade and that HP up 10%. And my friends, we are ready to continue. So one of the most challenging boss fights so far anyways. I'm coming, Angeal. Angeal! Angeal! What? These guys aren't Wutai troops. <laughs> Introducing Ifrit, my friends. A summon? Who called it out? And now you know why that fire armlet is just so good. We're gonna go ahead and cast some blizzard right away. You can see how much damage that does. We also have blizzard blades, so the way that that works is we want to attack and then hit with blizzard blade so we can do a tremendous amount of damage. Go ahead and save some of that blizzard blade for later. When it casts flame shot, we actually want to run away instead of dodge rolling. 
dodge roll can work, especially if you wait until the last minute. But just keep that in mind. We're going to go ahead and cast this. And maybe throw out a potion here. Oh, I tried to dodge that, but I'm bad. And we'll go ahead and wait for him to... Oh, okay. And there we go. So we want to attack. And Blizzard Blade will completely get rid of that. Look at how much damage that was able to do. Again, you want to attack, then use any AP attack. That That's, that's just... You're going to get more damage out of it. They told us that in the very first episode of the game. Dodging all those flame shots. But of course, who would I be if I didn't show you what his ability does? Let's go ahead and see it. Just running away so that the flame shots don't hit us. And here we go. We're going to hit. So that we don't have to deal with it. It just does too much damage. Ho, 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 ho. Efrit, buddy. Let's go ahead and blizzard. Couple more. And we'll finish him off. Oh, stop it. I'm trying to cast blizzard, bud. And down he goes. Giving us another assault twister materia bunch of SP and four, almost 500 gil. It wouldn't be Final Fantasy VII without a cool Sephiroth entrance. Holy. Oh. Genesis. The missing soldier first class? They're identical. A Genesis copy. Copy? A human copy? Where's Angeal? I thought he was fighting around here. So he's gone too. What? Wait, what does that mean? It means Angeal has betrayed us as well. No way. I know what kind of guy Angeal is, and he'd never do that. <laughs> Angeal wouldn't betray us. Never! And my friends, with that, we have completed chapter one of Crisis Core Reunion. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I This is pretty crazy. What's with the clones? What, there's two clones of Genesis there. Those were the assassins that were attacking us, were Genesis, but not actually Genesis. And now Angeal is missing, and Sephiroth immediately says that he betrayed us and left us. What's going to happen next in Final Fantasy VII Reunion? Crisis Core Reunion Crisis Core 7. Hey, let me know. Have you ever played this game on hard mode? And if so, did Ifrit ever kill you? Because I came like this close to dying a bunch of times. Don't forget, likes, comments, shares, all that stuff. Help me make this the most popular series I've ever done. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender. Chapter 2 starts next. And that, my friends, is when we start breaking the game. Goodbye, everyone.